Hello and welcome to my daily math YouTube channel. Today let's take a look at a very interesting problem. We have a triangle ABC with a side AB equals to 630 meters, side AB equals to 2070 meters. We also given that angle beta is our arc cotangent of 67 over 55 and we need to find the length of the side of the segment uh, b d so how gonna do how we're gonna do that let's start with um, taking a look at the angle c we can write down that angle c is equal to angle alpha plus angle beta that means that we can write down that angle the tangent of angle c equals to angle the tangent of alpha plus beta and using the definition of tangent it's the opposite side ad ab which is 2070 over adjacent side which is 630 meters now let's take a look at the angle beta so angle beta is equal to arc cotangent of 67 over 55 that means that cotangent of angle beta equals 67 over 55 now let's find the tangent beta so tangent beta would be reciprocal of that number and that is 55 over 67 good so we made some initial preparation to solve the problem now let's go back to our tangent of alpha plus beta and let's derive the formula and find what the tangent of sum of two angle is equal to so we have the tangent alpha plus beta by the definition is equal to sine alpha plus beta divided by cosine alpha plus beta now let's expand this expression the sine sin of sum of two angles is equal to sine alpha cosine beta plus sine beta cosine alpha now let's expand the cosine of alpha plus beta and that is equal to cosine alpha times cosine beta minus sine alpha sine beta now let's divide each term by cosine alpha times cosine beta uh, let me have a little bit more space here so we have sine alpha cosine beta divided by cosine alpha cosine beta plus sine beta cosine alpha divided by the same thing cosine alpha cosine beta everything over 
cosine alpha times cosine beta divided by itself gives us 1 minus sine alpha sine beta divided by cosine alpha times cosine beta. Now let's simplify this expression. So for the first term we can cross out cosine beta. Sine alpha over cosine alpha is just tangent alpha. For the second term we cross out cosine alpha. We'll get sine beta plus uh, over cosine beta which is tangent beta. everything divided by 1 minus and this expression is just the product of two tangents so tangent alpha times tangent beta now let's go back to our equation and let's write down that our tangent alpha plus beta equals tangent alpha plus tangent beta divided by 1 minus the product of tangent alpha tangent beta tangent beta and that, as we remember from the line above, equals to 2070 over 630. Now let's use this equation to find tangent alpha. Once we have tangent alpha, we can find the length of AD, this part, let's call it Y. And once we know Y, we can easily find X. So let's do the cross multiplication here. We multiply opposite terms. So we have tangent alpha plus tangent beta. Everything times 630 equals to 270 minus 270. times product tangent alpha times tangent beta. So now let's on the left side distribute 630 and move everything with a tangent alpha to the left and everything with tangent beta and uh, constant to the right. So let's write it down. So 630 tangent alpha plus 630 tangent beta plus 270 tangent alpha times tangent beta equals to 270 now let's subtract 630 tangent beta from both sides and factor tangent alpha on the left side. So on the left side we have tangent alpha times 630 plus 270 tangent beta. On the right side we have 2070 minus 630 tangent alpha tangent beta sorry and the last step to solve it for tangent alpha is to divide both sides uh, by 60 plus 20 uh, 2070 tangent beta so our tangent alpha equals 2070 minus 630 let's substitute tangent beta with 55 over 67 that we have 
uh, what that we found earlier so at the end we will have this expression 2070 times 55 over 67 so the next step is just pure arithmetic once you calculate and simplify this expression you'll get two-thirds so our uh, tangent alpha equals two-thirds now if we take a look at the diagram alpha is this angle so tangent alpha will be equal to y divided by 670 so let's write it down so y divided by 630 and that is equal to two thirds so from here we can easily find uh, our tangent uh, alpha uh, sorry our y which is equal to 420 so and since y is 420 meters that means our x is uh, 2070 minus 420 equals to 1650 meters that's it this is the solution for our problem so x or the length of BD is 1650 meters that's it for today if you like the video please like share and subscribe that really helps to grow our channel uh, so we can do more interesting problems for you uh, and I'll see you next time